Welcome to the walk around presentation of the Manitou MLT 840. Manitou MLT840 is the top of the range agricultural machine from Manitou. MLT, why MLT? Manitou, loader, telescopic. When we talk about the 840, it's got 8 metres of lift height, 4 tonne of lift capacity, 137 horsepower, and it's a full power shift transmission on this machine. We're going to take you for a little bit of a walk around, show you the key features of the machine. But just before we do that, People ask us why Manitou? What's the difference between Manitou and some other brands on the market? Well, there are three main reasons. There's the performance, the quality, and the total cost of ownership, which is a big part of it when it comes to the Manitou brand. Our resale values, our fuel economy, all of those factors mean that the total cost of ownership on a Manitou is far superior to anything else on the market. Anyway, let's take you for a walk around the machine. Starting at the rear of the machine, let's just talk a little bit about the monoblock chassis and the strength that comes from that when you talk about the Manitou product. The chassis is a double monoblock chassis. It's basically two box sections, which gives the machine much greater torsional strength. Okay? The chassis is manufactured from a one-piece 20mm steel plate that runs length of both sides of the machine, again, giving it that really strong chassis that obviously allows the machine to get the power from the wheels to the chassis to push and pull these uh, in loading applications. We use a, a what we call a PW type bolt. PW type bolt means they give much greater strength than some other types of uh, fixing mechanisms and obviously very rigid in that respect. When we talk about the chassis, you can see the substantial axle stops on the rear here and then obviously we've got the load sensing system. The safety system is a strain gauge that measures the deformation of the axle that then relays a signal back to the cab to tell you, obviously, if you're in a safe working position. Anyway, let's keep walking around. Okay, so still at the rear of the machine, just going to illustrate one of the key points at the rear of this machine. And that's the boom pivot point. The boom pivot point of all Manitou MLTs is very low, best in class. And you may ask yourself, well, what's the advantage of that? The advantage of the low boom pivot position is the visibility all around the machine. So it's obviously much safer in terms of its operation in confined spaces, pig sheds, feed lots, those types of applications, it's great to have that all-round visibility. So not only do we get the visibility in the rear of the machine, you can also see our standard tow hitch. The towing capacity on Manitou again is uh, class leading in relation to it has over 10 tonne of, of capacity. That comes from the draw bar pull of 9,800 darn of you, which is nearly 10 tonne in actual attractive effort from the rear of the machine. So again, very strong performance in that regard. Also at the back of the machine, before forgetting the fact that you can get a number of different services. The rear services can include trailer braking, electrical connections, and also you can get the choice of remote hydraulics. So you can have a single acting or double acting, depending upon the implement or the uh, trailer, the tipping trailer, something like that, you might want to run at the rear of the machine. Okay. Another thing again, the lights, the lights on the rear of the Manitou, they're actually, as you can see, are within the turning radius of the machine. So the extreme part of the machine at all times is the tyres. Tyres, rubber, they don't make as much damage if they're going to hit something. And of course, occasionally, operating in confined spaces, you may find yourself fully, fully uh, benefiting from the fact that the lights turn inside. So still at the rear of the machine, we've spoken about the rear services, the strong tow bar, and again we mentioned that visibility to the rear. Another good feature on the Manitou is these mud guards. The mud guards on the Manitou, on the wheels, they track with the wheels. The advantage of that is, again, you've got exceptional visibility down to the right-hand corner, so again, safety is paramount when we talk about that. Well, anyway, keep walking around again. Okay, so on the right-hand side of the machine, you can see again, the visibility is paramount with the low-mounted boot position. Obviously, the engine on the side, which is something that Manitou pioneered with the torque converter transmission uh, in around 2000. Basically, with that, you've got a much lower centre of gravity for the machine. So again, the Manitou product is always very stable, especially in those operating uh, parameters with a big bucket, you're loading out of height, you'll find the machine is very responsive and very reassuring when operating the machine. As far as the actual engine under here, it's a 137 horsepower John Deere engine. It's the latest uh, and greatest, one would say, in terms of uh, the John Deere range. It basically has full service access just by popping this little panel down here, it says. So from a maintenance perspective, you've got access to both sides of the engine, starter motors, air compressors, everything is 
basically really accessible at the end of the day. In terms of the cooling system, the cooling system is a hydraulically driven fan. The fan itself, though, what's quite unique about this machine is if the machine is only operating at low temperatures, then the fan will only turn as much as required to cool the engine. Obviously, the harder it's working, the quicker the fan turns. Now, you may think, so well, what's the benefit of that? The benefit of that is a fuel saving. It's quite a considerable fuel saving, around 4% versus a, uh, some other products where the fan is constantly running. So it's those little things, again, that help you with your total cost of ownership over the life of the machine. So the John Deere engine is coupled to a torque converter transmission. It's a power shift transmission by Dana. It's uh, patented by Manitou. It's called the power shift M shift. And the M actually stands for manual. So it's the power shift transmission is the first fully automatic transmission in a torque converter machine of this nature, but it can also be used in a manual gear selection. So again, depending on your driving style and the type of work you're doing, this transmission is ideally suited to agricultural applications. It's also a direct drive, um, straight off the engine, straight off the flywheel of the engine. So again, a very uh, strong, powerful machine with very little loss of energy from the engine to the transmission to the wheels. Okay. In terms of the hydraulic pump, which again is a very, very crucial component on a telescopic handler, on the Manitou MLT840 with the 137 horsepower machine, we've got 180 litres a minute in terms of the capacity of the hydraulic pump. And the reason we're able to put such a big pump is because of the side mounted engine and the way that the engine is mounted east west allows us to fit the pump under the boom substantial amount of room to get that nice big pump in there, give us those quick hydraulic movements, quicker cycle times, and much better productivity from this particular machine. Okay. So around the front of the machine here, I'm just going to point out a couple of little things. Um, obviously the mirrors may not seem like an important thing, but all the blind spots you can get being sat on the left hand side of a tele hammer as opposed to being in the middle on a wheel loader. The mirrors and the visibility over the side and to the rear are a real feature of the Manitou make it easy for the operator to do his job in a safe and productive manner. Coming to the mud guns again, you can see tracking on the front wheel. When we talk about the tyres, Michelin XMCL, okay, so again, the latest uh, technology from Michelin in terms of tyres. The great advantage of these tyres is when we talk about that TCO, that uh, total cost of ownership, these tyres basically have a very long life in relation to their very uh, good compound, they don't scrub out on concrete. They're actually, you can get a good life out of these machines. So over the course of, say, five years, instead of replacing two sets of tyres, you're probably only going to replace one with a Michelin XMCL. So again, it's a real benefit for your total cost of ownership. Focusing now in on the axle. So you've got a Spicer axle. The Spicer axle here, as you can see, we've got eight wheel studs, basically, to keep the wheel on. The actual reduction hub itself, again, has been designed to transfer all the power from the chassis, basically from the engine and that powerful transmission to the wheels to give you that great tractive effort when loading. So what you've actually got is you've got four reduction gears in the reduction hub here. So you have a very even distribution of the torque throughout the reduction hub. So again, you're getting the torque evenly distributed. So again, putting the torque down to the ground to give you that greater pushing power, which is really important in that bucket that we do a lot of in agriculture. Moving around to the front of the axle. As I said before, it's a Spicer axle. The Spicer axle has brakes uh, immersed on the uh, front here. The other great thing about the Manitou is brakes on both axles. Now you may say, oh, well, what's important about that? So basically when you're operating the machine, brakes on the front axle only cause a pivot, cause the machine to pivot when braking. Whereas the brakes on both axles cause the machine to pull up in a nice smooth and even manner. So again, from an operator's perspective, you really see the benefits of the Manitou when you're in those loading applications and how comfortable the guy, the operator can feel, or the lady, when they're operating the machine. As far as the axle itself goes, it's attached by four bolts on either side. So again, it's that robustness that we're looking for for the longevity. The longevity of the machine gives you that resale value, that total cost of ownership again is a big part of it. All right, so again, you can see, oh, quite simple, if I squeeze in under here, you'll see the silent mounted uh, blocks, the rubber blocks for the mounting of the cab. So there's a few little things there you can point out. The other key thing which we haven't pointed out already is the steer cylinders. The steer cylinders on these Spicer axles are mounted very high. They're out of the way, so any sticks or debris might get thrown up. The actual cylinder is not going to get damaged. 
Okay, so that's why it's very important to have that up high. Um, even though the Manitou's got exceptional ground clearance, having that cylinder high really does keep it protected. Okay, so still at the front of the machine, talking about the axle again, one key thing I forgot to mention before was the limited slip differential on the Manitou as standard. So again, the limited slip diff, basically that means that if one wheel is losing traction, obviously the limited slip diff will make sure that the traction is still delivered to both the front wheels on the axle. Coupled with the rear oscillating axle, the Manitou has exceptional rough terrain performance. So a combination of ground clearance, good torque, good drive from the wheels, as we spoke about before, limited slip diff, a really powerful performer in those rough terrain conditions that we find on your average Australian farm or on the New Zealand farm. In relation to steering modes, okay, so at the moment we've got an all-wheel steer. There are actually four steering modes on the Manitou. There's all-wheel steer as we have it now, two-wheel steer for highway use, then you have crab steer for getting against uh, against walls into tight areas, but then where we have a unique feature called Manny Crab. Manny Crab is where we're basically able to lock the rear wheels in position and then use the front wheels to track along, the leg, along a fence line or something similar. So again, a unique feature. Not going to be for everybody, but certainly can be quite advantageous in feedlots, piggeries, applications like that. I'm going to talk a little bit about the boom now. It's relatively important when you talk about telescopic handles, you'd have to agree. One great thing about the design on the Manitou is the quick attach. The quick attach on the Manitou is universal across the MLT range, across the Manitou range. The great thing about it is it's a 900mm wide carriage. Okay. We have a simple pin to remove the quick attach to remove the attachment, and it's a very simple process and very fast. We'll show you a little bit more about that shortly. In relation to the actual performance as a loader, the Manitou MLT840 has 148 degrees of rotation. So again, why is that important? When you're loading a high-sided truck, what you don't want to be doing is shaking the bucket to try and get the material out of the bucket. By having 148 degrees, the product will fall out of the bucket nice and easy. So again, it's those little features that mean you're not shaking the bejesus out of the machine. So it's going to survive. Total cost of ownership is insured yet again. Okay. So I'll show you a little bit about the, uh, the quick attach in a moment, and also the tilt angles and how that's achieved. In relation to the boom itself, Manitou MLT840 has a patented boom design in relation to the materials and the way it's been designed. It may not look that unique, but it is quite unique when you get into the real engineering side of things has a forged head at the front here for strength, has a fully enclosed front. Okay, it's very important again, so material falling over the back of a bucket is not going to come into contact with the tilt cylinder. So you can't even see the tilt cylinder here. It's nestled right up underneath out of the way, again, like the steer cylinders, protecting it from any damage that may occur in those loading applications and what have you. Again, as far as the pins go, the PW type pin, very strong, very rigid. So it's again all of those little things that give the Manitou the quality that we spoke about before. In relation to the boom, again, what we have here is the wiper system, so the Teflon pads, the Teflon wear pads, basically they absorb the grease over the first few hundred hours, and then from then on you do less and less of the greasing because they actually absorb the, uh, the grease, which make it again, as far as maintenance goes, a pretty minimal uh, thing to maintain. Yeah. Again, standard equipment on a Manitou, not an option, but standard equipment from the hydraulic lines to the front of the boom. The hydraulic lines obviously give you the auxiliary power to provide uh, hydraulic flow to open and close attachments, depending upon obviously the type of work that you're doing. The great thing about the Manitou system again is, what well, we have a system called ECS. ECS is an easy connect system, so you actually don't have to turn the machine off in order to depressurize the lines before you disconnect them. Okay. So that's another outstanding feature that obviously comes standard with the MLT840. Again, talking about the linkage on the MLT, the Manitou Loader Telescopic, you get exceptional breakout force from this system, but you also get very quick movements. The actual breakout force, the excavation force, that comes from this very substantial tilt cylinder, but it comes from this main section here. Okay. The speed of rotation actually comes from this secondary piece here that makes sure that the rotation, the crowd and dump is very fast. Again, to make sure you've got maximum productivity coming from the machine and its loading operation. So again, it's a Manitou loader telescopic, really designed for those ag applications. Let's take a look at the cab now on the MLT840. The cab on the MLT840 is a Robson Fox protective structure. 
It's a very large working area. So what I mean by that is it's a very large, spacious camp. So again, what we mean is that the operator has a very comfortable work environment. Um, it's the sort of thing you'd expect to find on a tractor, not necessarily on a loader or a, certainly a telescopic handler. So again, class leading in that respect. You can see the work lights are standard on the front. You can't quite see it, but the air conditioning mounted up on the rear. As far as the services, you've got access to a number of services here, water washer bottle, things like that. The reason they're on the exterior is there is very good ceiling on the cab on the MLT840, which is ideal for Australian conditions in the dusty environment that we have. It means that you don't have to be opening up panels in order to refill bottles and things like that. But anyway, let's take a look inside. Another key feature on the MLT840, ease of access. Again, you might be getting on and off the machine a number of times during the day to change the attachment. You've got great ease of access with a nice wide step, not too high. Nice wide entry point, and in we go. Let's take a look inside. So again, on the 840, we spoke about the productivity and the performance of the managing product. A lot of that will come back to a comfortable operator's environment. Again, a spacious cab on the MLT840 means that it's exactly that. Not only is it a spacious cab, it's very well equipped, very ergonomic in terms of how it's been designed to minimise fatigue on the operator. Everything from the seat, cab seat, cab is obviously a reference in the seating industry and agriculture, very well known. It's got multiple adjustments on the seat, so depending on what size you are, or how much you want to recline and have a sleep, whatever you want to do, you've got all of those options on the MLT840. Another great feature about the MLT840 and the seat and the way the hydraulic controls are set up, the JSM control, which is, uh, stands for Joystick Switch and Move, it's a manative patented design. The actual joystick is married to the seat. So no matter what happens, you've always got a comfortable driving position, maximising that productivity at all times. We'll talk a little bit, about, a little bit more about the JSM. Again, to ensure you've got maximum productivity, again, that comfortable work environment, You've got an adjustable steering column, basically up and down, also in and out. And you can lock that at any position that the driver, the operator, likes to give him that perfect position for operating the machine. Comfort and safety. So again, talking about the air conditioning on the MLT840, it's one thing to have a cool air conditioning system, but it's also important to have the vents in the right places. So down here we've got one for the feet, they can also be aimed up at the face. The second one here, again, can be aimed directly at the face to give you that immediate cooling effect that you need. Another one from the front, blowing at the windscreen, and again one to the right. So at the end of the day, the operator is always getting the cold air directly to his face where he needs it. In fact, we've even had complaints that this machine, the air conditioning is too good, it's too cold. Fancy that. That's pretty strong. So again, we spoke about having a good productive workspace. Again, you'll find all of the instruments in the display panel, the warning systems, everything, are all displayed in a nice cluster, nice and easy to access. You've got remote access to various things within the system. For example, the uh, Easy Connect system is here. You've got your boom suspension. You've got a whole number of different features on the MLT40 in a nice, easy to read layout. Talk about the transmission again before. We spoke about it being a manual or an automatic system. So again, we can select just by simply turning the dial. Okay. So here we have been a manual system, which is then controlled through the plus and minus on the JSM. Another feature here, we can actually regulate the, the speed of the, uh, sorry, the amount of flow that we're getting from the hydraulic lines. So if you're running a constant attachment that needs constant flow, you can actually dial in the flows using these controls here. So again, everything's been thought of to make it a comfortable and efficient work tool. A couple of other little features you've got that's standard on the MLT840. You've got a manual hand throttle here. So again, if you're running implements, that's where you utilize that as opposed to running it straight off the accelerator pedal. Run independent of the transmission. So obviously that's important, you're not plowing into anything. Talking about the JSM before, the JSM is very intuitive, ergonomic design. Basically, you just lay your hand here, forward and reverse, okay? Basically, pull it back, go up, nice and smooth. Not like to bend it down, and then you've got crowd to dump and also retract. And then here, you've got basically full proportional controls for your boom extension. Okay, so again, very precise, very nice, easy to drive. 
same thing with your auxiliary attachment. It's all proportional. Unlike a number of machines on the market, they have either an on or off system. The on or off system makes for a very unstable, very jerky operation. So again, with the Manitou system, we're losing less product. We're getting less shock, less bounce on the machine. So again, all aiding the performance of the machine, but also ultimately it's going to relate back to the resale value and that total cost of ownership. JSM at the end of the day, it's a very addictive control method once you've had a turn with it. So here we have the ECS system. Basically, just hold that down for a couple of seconds. You'll see the little information coming, telling you that's okay, that's engaged. Basically, it's coming out. All this is being done while the engine's still running, so we don't have to turn the machine off. The great advantage of not having to turn the machine off is what? Well, the starter motor. It's all being preserved. You're not turning it off, turning it off. Those constant things that wear on the machine, the ECS eliminates that. Basically, once you've done that, Drop that back in, jump back in the machine and release the attachment. The great thing about this is, you notice how I haven't had to walk all the way around the attachment to the other side to remove a pin or to do anything like that. Basically one access point straight from the cab, nice and easy to change the attachment on the Manitou, back from all the Manitou. You can also, if you really wanted to, you can get a hydraulic system for doing the unlocking as well. The only issue is though, if you've got a hydraulic attachment, you're still going to need to get down to release the hydraulic hoses on your attachment. So sometimes you know, hydraulic locking can be an advantage, a lot of the time, which is something else that could go wrong technically. So again, we were speaking about the better to uh, quick attach system. So basically you can see here, now we've taken the attachment off, there's very little weight left on the front here. When we connect another attachment, whether we move in between forks, hay frame, bucket, the great thing about the Manitou is, especially in relation to its stability, we don't have a lot of lost load. Some other competitors on the market will lose up to 500 kilos of rated lift capacity just by changing the implement. So just be a little bit cautious when you're selecting the right attachment and the right machine for the right application. Again, we said it's 900 millimetres wide, so it's a very nice surface bearing area. It's not too narrow, so we're not getting too many stresses and strains back through the boom on the machine, especially when using buckets and implements such as that. And again, we spoke about before, very substantial tilt cylinder. Again, nice and protected out of the way. And again, these linkage movements here make for very fast operation. And the fast operation equals productivity and efficiency. All good things for today's modern business. So that was a quick presentation on the Manitou MLT840. Keep your eyes out for more presentations on the Manitou range of rough terrain materials handling equipment. See you next time.